Hi, I'm Ash Binell and today I'll be reviewing the James Bond Aston Martin DB5. Now before I start this video I just want to say sorry that I uploaded such a long time ago. There was a lot of madness going on and you might realize I'm not where I shot my last video two years ago. This is my new set, this is my new filming setup. Don't worry, this won't be here for long, it's only temporary because I still need to set everything up nicely. But without further ado, let's start the review. So starting the review at the front, you can see we have the number plate, which now says JB007, but can be adjusted to three different other number plates. And unfortunately, the design is a little bit of a flaw. It did get stuck, so now I can only show you these two. But there are three others besides the JB007. Moving to the top, we have the grill, which is used to ventilate the powerful V8 engine, which also looks like a very nice detail and also is featuring in the new DB9. Then we have the headlights, which look like headlights at first, but once you pull a little lever in the car, they turn from headlights into machine guns. Now this can be used to fire at criminals and it doesn't actually fire but it is a cool play feature. Just above that we have the Aston Martin logo and of course this wouldn't be an Aston Martin without the logo and next to that we have the lights which look like bug eyes staring at you all the time. Moving to the top of the car, we have the bonnet, and it has a little bit of an air intake to help with the aerodynamics. And this is front hinged, meaning it opens up opposite to what your regular car would. And that exposes the powerful V8 engine this car has. We have a couple of compartments there, probably for oil, pistons and spark plugs, which keep the car running. And we have some tubing at the back, which I'm assuming goes to the AC inside of the car. Then on the outer side of the car, we have what I'm thinking are the mirrors. And it looks like only three pieces, but it is actually an entire assembly that just comes out of the car. And that just goes into the side panel, and it looks like mirrors. Moving to the side of the car, you can see we have the wheels with its grey rims and sharp centre throwing star. Just next to the wheels, we have a air intake, which consists of two parts, a 2x4 panel, and round about here, there is a little clip holding the 2x4 panel into the car, making sure it doesn't fall out. In the middle of the car, there's the door, which does open, revealing the interior. So you can see we have a little AC in the center there, which can be adjusted. And you can turn the AC from an AC into a high-tech control panel for tracking down criminals. Just behind that, we have the gear shift, which turns those little lights in the front of the car into the machine guns, which I showed you earlier. And then we have the seats. There's nothing special about the seats, but one of them has a unique play feature, which I'll show you in just a minute. Here we have the back wheels, and now they look exactly the same to the front wheels, but due to two pieces, you can change the back wheels from this to this. Now this is very sharp, it moves with the wheels and is used to pop tires. Moving to the back of the car we have the lights, the Aston Martin logo and the number plates. Now unlike the one in the front this one does actually work. And then we have the bumper. Now there's a play feature here where if you Hook your finger here by the bumper and pull, the roof opens up and the ejector seat comes shooting out. Now this can be reloaded of course. 
Then there's another play feature here with the exhausts. When you turn the exhaust, a shield comes up to protect the car from bullets. Because, of course, bulletproof glass wasn't back then a thing. And it looks very nice. The other side is pretty much symmetrical to the other side that I just reviewed. But when you open up the door again, this door is special because it has a compartment that opens. And there's a telephone for contacting people. So that's one other thing. And here you can see this time there's a steering wheel and speedometer. Now the steering wheel does not steer the wheels, but it is just there for show. And that was the Aston Martin review. So that was the Lego Creator James Bond Aston Martin DB5 review. I hope you had fun. Remember to subscribe, leave a like on this video and put your post notifications on to be notified whenever I put up a new video. Until the next one, bye.